What's up YouTube, Steve from Team Purple Panda, and today we're going to talk about three very amazing cards that I believe belong to everyone's main deck and or side deck in multiple copies. At the conclusion, YCA Charlotte gives a very clear idea of what the next three months can look like. It kind of solidifies the meta, if you will, and it only proves to me that how important these three cards are going to be uh, in the next few months. Uh, now, with that said, I have three of these in my side, three of this in my side, and one of this in my main, and because of that, it gave me the slight edge that need uh, to play against a lot of the current meta decks and win uh, but before i show what these are uh, i want to make a quick announcement and that is about mats uh, we're making mats we're making a lot of mats we're roughly making about 10 mats a week and we're shipping out mat every other day um, that makes me very happy because like so far we have nothing but positive uh, feedback for our product and everyone simply love our stuff and um it's, it's good. It makes me so happy that we can make uh, good stuff for you guys. And a lot of you got me some very cool designs that I've been making recently. So um, that's that. Also, I'll be making a very new um, mat ordering video very soon that shows you guys how to place order of mats and the design and some design ideas. And also show you guys some people that had previously got mats from us and they've been using it for months now. I've been very happy with it. So that's that. But now, these three cards. Let's go right into it. The first one. Uh, not this one. The first one is right here. Intercept Wave. All right. I have three of this in my side deck. Um, and initially, I put it in because I was getting beat by Katakuri OTK in my format because everyone's running them. And sometimes I open up a handful of traps and maybe a monster and they have traps done and it kind of completely shut me down and they go for game. Um, so I actually have these three side, three of these sided because of that deck. Uh, however, I started to notice that this card is crazy against a lot of other decks out there. Um, so Intercept Wave. This thing came out in the Shining Darkness uh, along with Infernity. And when it first came out, people are running it against Infernity. But the problem was that Infernity back then had three gun and they can simply misworm you. And even though they make a lot of synchro, they can still go for a game. So it kind of it kind of people ran it for a little bit and it got scrapped because it's simply not powerful enough back in the day uh, against Infernities. Um, now it's getting resurrected um, and I believe it's a very broken card in this format because um, it simply shuts down a lot of decks we have right now. Uh, first of all, it is really good against uh, Six Samurai because if they go um, Kageki, sorry, they go yeah, Kageki and Kagemusha, and you play Intercept Wave before they make their Shien, then if they were to make their Shien, that Shien is going to go back into the side deck at end phase, and there's nothing they can do about it. So essentially, you can lock them down, prevent them from synchroing, uh, which is really, really good. But it's even more powerful against um, Plant Synchro because they can synchro for starters, they can synchro for everything, they can synchro for this and that, but if you drop your intercept wave, um, there's simply nothing they could do. Uh, uh, they, they just, their the synchro goes away, and they minus Hella. So that's really good. Um, not to mention, it's really good against Katakuri OTK, like I said uh, previously. It's really good against them because like they can make three burrito. They flip traps done and after flip traps done they'll go crazy on you. So they flip traps done and they make like you know three burrito try to attack for game. You drop this thing, then end phase, the burrito goes away. And because this is a quick spell, it goes around traps done and world decree. And that's like a very, very important thing I believe in this meta, because trap stun is gonna rule the meta and everything that goes around trap stun is gonna be king. And this is just one of those amazing cards. Uh, not to mention this thing is godly against Dragunity. Oh my god, this thing's amazing against Dragonity. Um, there's so much Dragonity players in my meta. So much Dragonity players. Um, a lot of people who love Dragon basically went to Dragonity. So there's at least 12 in where I'm playing. Uh, with that said, this thing kills them. Um, they go Ravine, they make a Stardust. I set this thing next turn. They pitch something, they make another Stardust, they make a Thought Ruler. Then I'll flip Intercept Wave. They lose their Stardust and the Thought Ruler. And when it's my turn again, I can blow up the Ravine, I can blow up the Decree, and blow everything in the back row because they no longer have that starter stopping me so it's just really really busted against dragonity um it's good against fable for obvious reasons because fable synchros a lot it's okay against sabers because i can stop some of the synchros but it's, it's okay it's not like super crazy um but it's also super crazy super good against some um, scraps this thing kills scraps because they make the scrap dragon it flip this thing the scrap dragon goes defense mode it goes away uh it does not get sent to the graveyard so they do not get the plus one off of it and unless you have a follow-up you basically have game so this thing just simply eats up scrap dragon no one's business um 
again last scrap that they main decrease and this goes around decrease so it's just broken tastic i love this thing so much and I definitely run it at three and i do not regret it um that's that the second one i'll talk about is this right here um spell shattering arrow is a quick spell it's like a fairy wind that destroy f uh, spells for a spell card and it's really good because there's a lot of decks out there um that this thing can hurt and i have a little list of it first it's really good against 6m obvious reasons uh it hits the gateway it hits their um uh, uh they're 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 united and it's really good because it also hit dojo in the future and not to mention because this is not a trap card uh it can't be uh, negated not negated but stopped with traps done and it cannot be stopped with seven tools so it's really really busted so even though they set up well, if they set if they set up for a big play and they set like a tools and push next turn if you push if you can flip this over you can still smash on their gateway and they're united um it's really really bug broken i mean just crazy broken against raccoonity because because they play ravine they do the little pitchy thing and if summon a monster and equip something to it and once they equip if you drop this not only their equip card gets blown up but the ring gets blown up as well and they take a thousand and that normally shuts them down uh, really really fast so it, it hurts dragonity a lot and um, because this is a quick play spell you can use it like a like ghetto mst if you really need to to like to mess up their um field card and speaking of field card this thing's also really good as grave keepers because of necro valley um it's good against katakuri because of their um katakuri anatomy it's like their version of united and not to mention right now there's the gate hero that's became more popular this thing hurts their um uh deck as well because destroy fusing gate and not to mention malefic world for when that deck comes out and you know some people are playing that deck in the meta uh but so anyway this two card is just super broken in this meta and i believe that everyone should definitely run this and it has been helping me out a lot ever since uh moving on the final one is effect veiler i know a lot of people run effect veiler already but i just want to say that this card is really 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 important in the upcoming uh, meta especially in bigger tournaments like ycs and regional um that's because in ycs charlotte an empty jar tarped it an empty jar top that is just so scary because empty jars one of those like ftk frog otk kind of like the x out there excuse me guys my throat's kind of dry but anyways um this thing stops that and a lot of times they play prohibition to try to stop you but if you can get this out before they drop prohibition then it still goes through which is really really good and it's one of those few cards that can stop um uh, uh empty jar from simply milling you out uh, turn one so with that said definitely main one of these it will save you in the upcoming regional upcoming YC, i can guarantee it um so that's that comments question below um and thanks for watching guys